Higher energy prices would have many blank effects on society as a whole. So let's stop there. A lot of people want to dive in and say, ooh, higher energy prices, that's bad. We don't want higher energy. We want lower energy prices. So jump in there and you think it's going to be a negative word. And maybe you know the word pernicious. And you say, ooh, I know it. It's a negative word. There's a negative that's pernicious. But wait a second. How do you know that? Now, there are certain test publishers out there who only use commonsensical first instinct or gut reaction responses. Higher energy prices will be bad, and that will usually be the answer. But again, this is ETS, and they're not going to dumb down the test the way that some publishers do. They are actually going to be sometimes counterintuitive. So you have to watch out. Do not assume anything. So in this case, higher energy prices are actually going to have some helpful effects. But wait, how do I know that? Well, let's read Besides encouraging, encouraging consumers to be more blank in their use of gasoline, they would encourage the development of renewable energy resources that are not blank at current prices. So they're encouraging. Encouraging what? Well, they're encouraging the positive use of gasoline. So besides encouraging consumers to be more blank, so what's this word where people are, now we're dealing with the second blank, are not using or wasting gas? And that answer is sparing, which is F. Then the third blank would be, well, of renewable energy sources that are not blank at current prices. Well, they don't make sense, these alternative energy sources. So what word means that they don't really work out? And that word is viable. So if you have a viable plan, it makes sense. It works out. If you have viable energy sources, that means that people can actually use them. But right now they can't at these prices. Therefore, higher energy prices would drive them up. So those are two positive effects. And now we can back up our word positive and go back to the first blank here. And which word is positive? Definitely not pernicious, which means harmful and destructive. Counterintuitive. Well, look what I wrote up there. Counterintuitive. The sentence is counterintuitive. But we need to come up always with our own word. That's not our own word that goes in the blank. Our own word is what? Something positive. And that word is salubrious. And so for the first blank, we end up with C. And salubrious means having a healthy effect, salutary.